Okay, so here we are, question number one. We are in 5.6, lecture homework, 5.6, so number one. So how do we do this problem? So they're saying for each function, determine the long run behavior. What does that mean, long run behavior? That means horizontal asymptote, possible horizontal asymptote. What we mean, we mean like if you were to graph this function, like you were to graph this on GeoGebra, maybe I'll do that in a second. If you were to graph this on GeoGebra, what would you see it do in the long run? Well, um, you would see it do something like this. It would level out right here at a height of one. So it's long run. Long run means way off to the right and way off to the left. You know, long run, way to the right, way to the left. What's it gonna do? It's gonna flatten out at y equals one. See, this is the y-axis and this dotted line right here goes through the y-axis and up one. That graph is gonna flatten out way, way off to the right and way off to the left. The long run to the right and the left, it's gonna flatten out really, really close to, a, it's gonna get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the height of one forever in both directions. That's called an asymptote line. That's what an asymptote line is. It's a line of approach. It's a line that a graph gets closer and closer to forever. So this function, now I'll get to the others in a minute, but this first function is going to have a horizontal asymptote. And that's it. Now you think, well, how do you know that? It's a one. Well, um, for various reasons, but here's the notes. Here are the exam three notes, which will really help you. The exam three notes, I put in notes that show you how to find the horizontal asymptote. Exam three notes, these are right at the top of the unit three module, finding horizontal asymptotes, same as long run behavior. What do you do? Let n equal the numerator, highest power, let d equal the denominator, highest power. If n equals d, it's this. If n is greater than d, there's no horizontal. If d is greater than n, then it's zero. Oh, okay. So what, what do we have here? So we just have to take, what's the power on the top? The numerator power is two. Okay. What's the denominator power? Same thing. Denominator power is two. So they're equal, aren't they? If n equals d, then it's A over B. What are A and B? A and B are the numbers in front of the highest power terms, top and bottom. So it's going to be Y equal what numbers in front of the highest power term? One and one. There's no numbers in front. It's one over one. That's, that's the A over B in this problem. The A over B is one over one, which is one. That's why it's Y equals one. One more time. Does that make sense? It's saying if, if N equals D, if the power on the top equals the power on the bottom, then the horizontal asymptote will be y equals a over b, where a and b are the numbers in front of the highest power terms, top and bottom. So it's y equals a over b. What numbers are in front? One and one, one over one is one. It's y equals one. Meaning at a height of one, the graph will approach that height long run. That's what we call horizontal asymptotes long run behavior, because it's what the graph does eventually, way off to the right or the left in the long run. Doesn't do it in the middle, but it does it in the long run. Okay, well, um, what? Let, let's go see this on GeoGebra real quick, and then I'll come back and finish the other two, but it's just good to see it. So I'm gonna change this function we got here, let me just erase what I got. And I'm going to make it um, the fraction. What do we have? X squared. So X squared. You got, you got to go shift up arrow for the squared. And then you got to, you can't type up there anymore because you're in the power zone. Then you got to hit right arrow to go down to the baseline again or tab or something like that. Plus one. Oh, oh 
I should have made that a fraction. Yeah, let me go. Uh, my mistake here. Let me go just x over x. So I made a fraction. I just did the um, the divide symbol, which is you know um, forward slash. So I did the forward slash to turn it into a fraction. So I'm going to go back up top with my mouse, click up top, go shift up arrow squared, right arrow. So I'm on the main line again, plus one. And I go down below, go to the right, go shift up arrow squared, plus two, enter. There it is. See, it's like, like I was telling you. See how it dips down a little bit in the middle? And then it comes up to one. Here, let me do it up. See how it's getting... The further it goes to the right and the left, it gets really, really close to a height of one. That's its long run behavior. So we say it has a horizontal asymptote of y equals one. See on the y axis, it gets really close to a height of one, way off to the right, way off to the left, long run to the right and the left, it gets really close to a height of one. They don't show the horizontal asymptote on the graph because it's not really part of the graph. It's just a guiding force. It's just, you know, it, it guides the graph, so we don't show it. We, the, we, so, we sometimes show it as a dotted line on the graph, but we, it doesn't show up on an actual computer-generated graph because it's not really part of the graph. It's just a, a guideline to the graph. Now, let's do the other two parts. The other part had an x cubed down here. Let me change that to x cubed, see what happens. Boom, that's a big difference, isn't it? Look at that. What's the horizontal asymptote now? Well, as you go right forever, what height? The graph comes down to zero height. And as you go left forever, it comes down to zero height also, doesn't it? See how, it's, see how the graph's coming down to zero height, way off to the right, and up to zero height, way off to the left. See this? It's coming up, it's coming from below zero, coming up to zero height, and way off to the right, coming down to zero. So it's coming to a height of zero in the long run, right and left. Let's go back to our um, iPad and my iPad, and I will show you how the formulas bear out that same truth. So on this next part, we have numerator power, which you can find the numerator power is two, denominator power is three. Which one's bigger? Denominator. So if denominator is bigger, horizontal asymptote is y equals zero, the x-axis. Right there. Denominator bigger, y equals zero. Right, the graph, I think if I can draw it, I forget it does some kind of weird thing. It comes down like that, and then it goes like that. So it's coming to a height of zero, the x-axis, to the right and the left, right? The long run. In the, in the middle, it does wonky things. Who cares? We're asking long run, way off to the right, way off to the left. What does it do? height of zero. And then the final one, this uh, last piece of the puzzle here, uh, numerator power is three. Now they, let me see, see, no. Numerator power is three. Denominator power is two. Now the numerator power is bigger than the denominator power. What's that going to do? Well, according to the notes, the numerator is bigger. There's no horizontal asymptote. It just takes off. It just goes up, up, and away like Superman. It doesn't, it doesn't really level out at all. Let me show you. Let me go back to the graph. GeoGebra is a great resource. It'll graph any of this stuff. So I need to make it, what, three on the top, two on the bottom? Three on the top, two on the bottom. There we go. Yeah, look at that. See how this graph now is taken off to the right, taken off down to the left. It doesn't ever, ever level off, does it? Go back to the iPad. So I hope you use GeoGebra.org as a great resource for graphing all these things we're dealing with. Graphs are really helpful. Picture worth a thousand words, as they say. So this graph kind of takes off down there, does a squiggle thing, and takes off there. So it never levels out. So we say no horizontal asymptote. It never levels off. Whereas the other ones do, right? This graph levels off. The first one leveled off at a height of one. The second one levels off at a height of zero, way off to the right, way off to the left, long run to the right and the left. But this one long run takes off and takes off down to the right and the left. It never levels off, no horizontal asymptote.